Hello everyone. I have done some intense testing with this game to finally get a playable version that will not crash after half an hour or an hour or even after minutes. I searched on ProtonDB, also on other video some players put, and I think some ProtonDB user has a winning solution. Unfortunately, it's in desktop mode, not in game mode, so this, this could be a problem, but at least if you want to play, you can do so. I, I managed to play two sessions of two hours each, full battery of the Steam Deck in uh, desktop, and it didn't crash at least once, so maybe this is a winning solution, who knows. So you, you need you can do this also in desktop mode, but I prefer to do it here. On compatibility mode, force the use of a specific force the use of a specific Steam Play compatibility tool and use Proton 6.3-8. Uh, this is the most stable version, but as I said, it will only work in desktop. So choose this, and of course now go into the desktop mode like this launch steam and this is where you can make the changes from here also managed no properties and compatibility as you can see it's the same as on the other side and now you can press play from here of course you need to be logged into the um, xbox account otherwise this game is useless without network features and as you can see now it is snowing it's very beautiful Let's take a more spectacular car than this. Nice that we caught some snow. Oh, I have a new barnyard rumor. Oh man, I have lots of barnyard cars to find. I have to get to them. No, not the sheep, man! <laughs> I like the horizon very much. With the snow, it's very beautiful. But, unfortunately, this car is not built for snow. So it drifts a lot. Ooh, we have a tractor here also. Hello, tractor. And we should get back to the roads. Oh, the snow plow. Yes, I won't be able to get too far on this car because it's not... Oh, of course, so one of these advantages uh, in desktop mode if you want to use TV out like I'm using it now it shows the screen also on your Steam Deck. You can turn it off of course but it requires uh, extra steps and one more uh, important disadvantage that I can uh, think of is you th that you don't have the um, Steam overlay so you cannot really change the con controller uh, layout and stuff like this so Ooh, we have a panel here let's break it yeah okay let's go somewhere into a town to see the beautiful country the beautiful Britain. Hmm. I just need to return here. Let's set the course for here and see. Then see the town in winter. It's not snowing anymore, unfortunately. And I'm spinning a lot. This is the block party horizon. My name is Mr. Jack. Because of the snow. I could get a more suitable snow vehicle
Okay, and the, the landscape changes here a bit. We have now the English houses on both sides of the road. Oh, I managed to avoid that. And now we're in the town. Destroy one more board because we're still here. World's fastest rentals. Okay. Destroy the board. Okay, so let's see what else we have around the town. And it's beautiful that it just works, it doesn't crash. If it crashes, I will uh, return to you with another video and maybe do some more Ooh, fast travel. Yes, I like the fast travel boards. The nice thing with fast travel is that it takes credits and if you want to buy houses or um, cars even, the cars, I don't need it. I don't need the cars that much because I have uh, the pack with all the cars but the houses I don't have so I really like them so I hope you managed to play Forza Horizon 4 without any crashes and I hope these tips will help you and uh, thank you very much for watching this and uh, don't forget to subscribe for more uh, Steam Deck and uh, PlayStation 5 and other console Switch videos that also will be helpful and useful. I hope. Bye bye.